What's good guys, back, back with another video. video. In today's video, we're doing a Chipotle mukbang. You guys know I had to get a burrito. This thing is pretty massive, yo. I like to get a bowl with tortilla on the side. It's right. the way to do it, man. I'm not, oh. honestly, that's what oh. I usually do. You know it's a good burrito from Chipotle when it's double wrapped. That guy had a hard time wrapping a burrito. Ah, I got a little baby in here. <laughs> that thing is massive. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited now. I'm excited now. I also got a squawk on the side. We're bougie today. Yo, baby. Perfectly wrapped. The guy finessed it, you saying? Oh, he finessed the roll. Shout out to the Chipotle worker that finessed Shout it. Shout out to the Chipotle worker. This thing is an asteroid. And, of course, we got our drinks. Yes. Our, our frozen watermelon slush. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. The steak is so juicy. Mmm. No lie, Chipotle got me through college. It would be eleven dollars and two meals for me. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> okay, hold on. The way I like to make my bowl, I like to put some guac. Guac. Okay, 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 okay. Pass me the sour cream. Oh my god, babe. Oh my god. Okay. Of course. Got my honey vinaigrette, which I didn't know about back in college, but now I do. I haven't even taken a bite yet. By the time she starts eating her food, I'm gonna be done, yo. It'll be all worth it, guys. Okay? Okay? Mix it, mix it. That's what I do. <gasps> and then we pour this on. <laughs> there we go. Now we mix. Fire. It's gonna be so fire. Now I can't wait wait. Chipotle sauce. I'll be right back. Chipotle sauce. Okay. Would you stop? Add some chipotle sauce. Damn, it looks fire. Oh yes. Now we give it a good mix. And then we grab our tortilla on the side. We rip a nice bite, like this. Get a bite with a little bit of everything. Of course, extra steak. A little bit of tomatoes. And finish it off with a dash of chipotle. Okay, I'm ready. And here you go, my perfect bite. And I know this bite's gonna be amazing, so come on, cheers All with right. me. Mini burrito, we're your big cheers. burrito. Mmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you remember when we used to put a Chipotle in college when I would visit you? Mm-hmm. Remember what we used to do with the guac? Yeah, we used to bring our own guac. We used to bring the holy guacamole. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Though? The ones from Costco. Yep. Zach would, Zach would have to take the train, would have to take the F train to us. Mm -hmm. What was it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I used to take the 27 to the 7 train to the... To to the to the six train and then walk to your place and then we would get Chipotle and inside my little vest pocket two holy guacamoles that's right from Costco mm -hmm. now we get guacamole mm -hmm. we get the guacamole I feel like that's our goal in life being able to get whatever type of food organic food expensive pasture raised eggs whatever anything you want anything yeah yeah that was a goal that's how you know you made it We'll get there one day. Yeah, hopefully. When we have chickens. Oh God, exactly. I want chickens. Just because we live in Texas does not mean we need chickens, all right? I don't need them. I want them. You gonna take care of them? Mm-hmm. I got a really good question. What is your current and updated list of your top five fast food places right now? Oh, that's a good question. Mm-hmm. Number one, Shake Shack. Okay. Number two, Blaze Pizza. Oh, okay. Number three, Chick-fil-A. Okay. I'm definitely missing one out there that I'm like, oh. Number four, McDonald's. Number five, Chipotle. That's my top five. Mm, not bad. Okay. Oh, not so bad. <laughs> I'm trying to think real hard so I don't mess up. I already messed up because I went first. <laughs> you right. Shake Shack number one. Really? Shake Shack number one. 
Yeah. It's expensive. It's expensive. Boss. It's expensive. Mm. I got one in mind that you're probably not thinking of. It'll be the honorable mention at the end. Okay. Yo, number two, I'm going Chick fil A. I'm going Chick fil A. Yo, just a spicy chicken sandwich. You just can't miss with that. You get a real nice, dense piece of protein, too. It feels better than the other ones. Okay. I'm going Chick fil A number two. And you get good service. They don't mess up your order. Yeah, bare, rarely, rarely you mess up the order. They mess up the order. Dang, this is not an easy question. It's not. I asked it without even thinking about it. Bro. Yo, number three, I'm going McDonald's, y'all. That's what I'm like, saying. Bro, McDonald's is number saying. three. Where did you put it as? Number four. Number four? Okay. I'm going with McDonald's number three. I'm going with Taco Bell number four with oh. a confidence with that. Mm. Confidence with that. Yo, Taco Bell has been hitting for the last couple years, yo. I got number five. If you say if you say what I'm thinking of, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. I'll be ready to collect. Hold on, let me wash wait, my hands. Wait, wait, you, wait, you think you think we're, we got the same thing? This is my number fifth option, right? Number fifth, and, and I'm guessing what it is. Okay. I'm guessing. Okay, whatever, whatever. Say it at the same time. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh. Wings up. Oh. recently and you really loved it but yes Wingstop is up there but they took away the hot honey rub oh, yeah. so oh, no no true, no true, 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 true. Wingstop all right this is the pressure that we're putting on Wingstop you would be locked in at the number five spot but you took away the hot honey so you are no longer on the list that's right <sighs> I actually have for I'm like actually generally mad about that because we ordered Wingstop yesterday and there was no hot honey and I felt some type of way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Wingstop could have went from number five, but they're probably at around like ten because of that. Oh yeah, bro. So what's your number five? Blaze Pizza. Wow. Yeah. Coming at number five. Blaze Pizza. Blaze Pizza at number five. Honestly, yo, best bang for your buck, Blaze Pizza can make you three meals if you really make it last. Like you're not beating that. And they use pretty fresh ingredients. You see everything in front of you being made. Mm -hmm. mm. Pen, a pen, a pen, a pen. But yeah, I wouldn't be in the top. It wouldn't be my top. No. Actually, yo, that's not a bad pick though. Panda? That honey shrimp, honey walnut shrimp. Panda Express wouldn't be in my top five of ones I like, but if you ask me the question of only eating at five places, oh. Panda would be in there. Asian cuisine, there's no other fast food Asian cuisine like that, you know what I'm saying? You're right. I'm pretty full and I still have half left. More like two thirds. Comment down below your top five. I want to see that. I want to see it. Comment down below. We better read all the comments. Mm -hmm. And this is hitting for a 10 out of 10 right now. And I've had this every single day this week and it's still hitting for a yeah. 10 out of 10. Okay, try this piece of steak. Is it chewy? No, I already tried another piece. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm actually done eating. What? Yeah. I'm not. I'm hungry right now, but this, I'm, I'm really dehydrated, so I don't really want to eat food. I want to drink, I want to drink something like hydrating, and this is just hidden for me. Yeah. I'm gonna finish these last couple bites. But I did want to address one comment that I saw. Honestly, I'm not sure if I saw it on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, but I saw it somewhere. It was a good question because it's something that's very relevant and personal to us. So the comment asked, is it hard making friends as a content creator? I want to say when we first moved to Texas, because that's when I officially feel like we started doing this. Being content creators. Content creators. Right. Yeah. When we moved out by ourselves in an apartment in Texas. And when we first moved here, we only had our heads down. Guys, we did 20, we did Vlogmas, 25 videos in 25 days. I was working at EY and we were just grind, grind, grind. We didn't have time to make friends, for real. People would hit us up to like, hey, want to do this, want to do that. We're like, oh, sorry, we're busy. No, I think everything you said is pretty spot on, honestly. You're not gonna put your input? I was getting a sip. Oh. I would say that everything T said is pretty spot on. When we first came to Texas, our goal was to, uh, yo, we're in a new environment, we're uncomfortable in this environment. Let's just try to work as hard as possible, try to make as much money as possible, try to be as efficient as possible. And honestly, I think we did a really good job at it. But there was definitely sacrifices, right? Yeah. Our sacrifices were, there's no time to hang out. There's no time to play video games. There's no time to go put up shots for basketball, play basketball for fun. The only time we're playing basketball was for content. The only time we're going out to eat at a restaurant is for content. Other than that, we're editing, we're answering emails. 
Yeah. We're putting creative ideas together. We're keeping our house clean because we film here so much. We're taking care of Monkey. There's really, there really was no time with our posting schedules and the pressure that we were putting on ourselves. That's what it is, pressure. We yeah. put a lot of pressure on ourselves a year and a half ago. But honestly, it's not like that. Those pressures didn't pay off. Yeah. We're, again, there's pros and cons to everything. We weren't focusing on our fitness as much, our health as much. That's right. Just going outside, like, there would be times where I'm literally just, we wouldn't go outside. Especially when it was really cold or really hot. We just, why go outside when you're just editing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But to answer the actual comment, I would say, yeah, it was definitely hard to make friends when you're in that tight of a schedule. Um, Cause I would feel bad, people would ask us, hey, let's do this, let's do that. I'm like, sorry. Like how many times can someone reach out to you and ask you, do this, hey, you wanna do this, you wanna do that? And you just say, sorry, I can't, sorry, I can't. They stop reaching out after a while and that's just what it is. And I totally understand that too. But, you know, it's, we gotta grind. That's just what it is, we gotta yeah. grind. Yeah. We're still doing what we're doing. It's like we're just trying to find balance in it, right? Even though we're just these content creators, this is our actual career, so. We're in the beginning of our career. We've been doing this for less than two years, right? When you really, th I know it sounds crazy to say it like that. We're not high production, like. Yeah, we're not high production. We're in so, front of you guys in front yeah. of a camera just talking. That's just what it is. By the end of the day, this is technically our work. So yeah. we're still getting better at our jobs as, a, as our career. And being a content creator, the balance of real, real life versus on camera life is a thing that needs to be worked on. A lot of people struggle with that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. To bring it all together though, I guess in general, some people may struggle making friends. You really have to put yourself out there. At the end of the day, we're in a new state with no family members here, none of our hometown friends. So yeah, in the beginning, it was like, we have our guard up, of course. Like, yeah. regardless of our content creators or not, like, I'm not trying to, like... We're from New York. Yeah, we're you from don't New York. Just... We don't, I don't trust anybody in general right away anyways, so... Yeah. Yeah, I feel like now that we have been making more friends in Texas and hanging out, it's starting to feel more like a home base, Yeah. right? And we haven't even moved into our house yet, so that's also what I'm really excited for. Too. Yeah. And that's the other thing too, like our apartment is so uninviting. <laughs> like, our apartment is our house, Monkey's house, a playpen, a filming studio, a cooking studio, an editing room, Office. like, it's just, not inviting for company, honestly. I'm excited for the house. I'm excited to host, yeah. you know? You know when we leave this place, we're gonna be so sad, right? Yeah. Not sad, dude. We're gonna have a lot of good memories here. Like, damn. For sure. Remember when we were there in that apartment? For sure. <laughs> I already know you're gonna say that sentence multiple times in the next year. Yeah. Remember the time? Also, just being so close to a lifetime. Here. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, like, dude. that's a blessing. But yeah, that was our rent. This meal was solid, for real. Um, how do you guys like this little filming setup? It's, <laughs> it's different, I know. It might be a little bit weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. This was our Chipotle mukbang. We're coming to the end of the video. Teresa, do you have a special word of the day? I sure do. If you made it to this point of the video, make sure you comment down below the word watermelon slush. Mm. It's been hitting. Facts, 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 facts. Yo, three ingredients. Three ingredients, frozen watermelon, coconut water, and some lime. Yo, That's fire. Right. Especially in the hot summer, yo. You need it. You gotta try it. But, yeah. Stay hydrated, y'all. This is the end of the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.